Okay, what we're going to do today is we're going to demonstrate how to fully disassemble and reassemble a 1911 pistol that we have here. First thing that you want to do is be sure to remove the magazine and make absolutely certain visually inspect chamber in the pistol to make sure there are no rounds before you get started. It be a good idea to also have uh, safety glasses on while you're doing this as there are spring tension devices in here that can and will get away from you if you're not very careful. First thing on this pistol we're going to remove the recoil spring and plug use barrel bushing turn the bushing and catch the recoil spring plug with your off finger lay that aside go ahead and pull the recoil spring out at that point you have no spring tension on your slide and back to your takedown notch remove your slide stop and the upper half comes off just like this a length guide rod at this point you might want to check and make sure everything's in order no excessive wear nothing broken um, you don't really find hardly any broken parts in this area, always check your barrel. Then the next thing we'll do is remove the firing pin stop. Set that aside. Firing pin. And your extractor comes out the back, just like that. And that's your complete upper assembly disassembled, with the exception of. The adjustable sights on this pistol which really should never be removed for any reason. Start this by removing the grips. Okay, you want the grip screw and the blade of the screwdriver to fit real nice. Get that loose. Grip screws really should never be over tightened and if you get them stuck well then your bushing comes out with it. I like to use a little swivel headed screwdriver after you get them loose. Makes them a lot easier to control when you the smaller blade helps you not damage your grips. You can also guide this with your fingers. Just go slow and easy because you don't want to mess up your grips or scratch the frame. Set that grip panel aside and flip to the other side. Same process. Reach through and push the grip off. Next part would be the ambi. A lot of people have trouble with these. Some, sometimes they fit super, super tight and they're kind of difficult to get apart. I'll show you a couple of tricks that make it a lot easier. Just lift up on the right side. The right side has to come off first. And slide a small piece of paper, a thick, thick paper, business card, anything like that will work. Just tap it just a little bit. That'll get it out, the thickness of that paper. And just fold it double. Start it under again. And just tap it lightly with your screwdriver. And not driving nails. Okay. That is giving you the thickness of two pieces of the paper that you're using or a business card. And slide that under there. And I have a sharpened screwdriver with a piece of tape on the off side. Just gently get under there. Lift and wiggle. Be very careful not to slip as it will mar the underside of your end of extra safety. Then that comes right out. And this side, put your thumb right here beside your hammer and hit the middle spot and this thumb will actually catch and prevent the plunger and the spring from flying across the room. Okay, that comes out. Notice all the Wilson beaver tails now have a little scallop cut out here that allows you to remove the grip safety without removing the mainspring housing. Put the hammer down, easy. Loosen the little set screw in the magwell. Takes tension off of the front legs. 
a rounded punch. That pin comes out. Set that aside. And your magwell comes off. Your mainspring housing slips out. Sear spring lifts out. This pin comes out, hammer pin, and remove your hammer. You can push the pins from the offside. This is your sear pin. That'll allow you to remove your sear and disconnector. The mag catch, which also holds your trigger in place. Push your mag catch in, little tension, counterclockwise on the lock until you hit the groove in the mag catch. And you see a lot of folks that have uh, damage right here. There's an opposing groove inside the frame right there where that screwdriver tip is after you get the mag catch out. Turn it clockwise in your spring and lock the mag catch. At that point your trigger comes out the back of the frame. Okay, we've got our frame taken apart. What we're going to do now is basically reassemble in reverse order. Uh, what we're going to do, and at this time also, you know, check your sear nose. Make sure you don't have, you know, broken half cock. Uh, just basically check and make sure that you don't have any damaged or damaged or parts in the, in the pistol. Um, everything should be intact pretty much as you received it. What we're going to do is drop the trigger in the back of the frame. That goes up here. Then we're going to reassemble our mag catch and lock. The spring in, the lock, take your little screwdriver, line the groove counterclockwise. And this goes in the frame. Flush with your left finger, lift the mag catch ever so slightly, light tension, turn clockwise until you feel that you've lined up with the groove and then it snaps into place. Next, sear and disconnector. Easiest way to do that is lay the sear on top of the disconnector. I like the little tweezers. Uh, you could use needle nose pliers. That works really well. Very small ones. And just right into the groove. This will come through to the top. Sear pin in the side of the frame. At this point you can lift your disconnector slightly to line up the sear hole. Sear pin hole with the sear and the disconnector. That should be captive. That should rotate, swing freely. Next will be your hammer. Slide it into the back of the frame. Hammer pin right through. Next will be your sear spring. This spring has a groove. Just kind of slide it up toward the sear. Has a little ledge on the bottom of the spring right here. Fits in a groove in the frame as you can see right here. And just kind of slide that up toward the sear. That'll drop into that groove. What you want to do is when you get the sear spring in, visually inspect that you have the left arm of the sear spring resting on the left leg of the sear itself. At this point you can hold this in place with your finger. Slide your mainspring housing in to hold the main the mainspring or sear spring in place. Swing your hammer strut down. Make sure your hammer strut is in the pocket of the mainspring housing cap. You would install your magwell. Start it like that. Down with pressure. Get your mainspring housing pin started in. And go to the rounded tip punch. At this 
point you can put your beaver tail grip safety back in if your your beaver tail does not is not a later model that has this most of the time your beaver tail will have to come out after the mainspring housing is removed at this point you cock your hammer put your plunger and spring in like that and you're ready for this side of your ambi with a little plastic piece of thin plastic works best push your plunger in pull that out snaps right into place then you're ready to put the other side these are always snug sometimes they're finger tight if they're not like that. Make sure it functions freely. No binding. Okay, what we're going to do now is proceed to the upper assembly. Basically, just take the extractor, drop it in. Make sure, and there again, you're also always inspecting for damage. Make sure your extractor hook is in good shape. Use the punch to slide up that groove. And install your firing pin and spring in the back. Slide your Firing pin stop in from the bottom. Firing pin depressed. And just slide the firing pin stop until it captures the firing pin. At this point, we would put the barrel in, turn the bushing all the way around. Put the recoil spring guide in. Recoil spring. Slide the upper onto the lower visually look through and make sure that your your barrel has barrel and link have lined up with this hole install your slide stop line up your take down notch snap that right in at this point you roll the pistol over and Press the spring. Be very careful. Safety glasses should be used while you're doing this. And then just turn your bushing. As you can see, we've got it captured so you can get a better grip. Get press. Turn until the recoil spring plug pops into place with the bushing. Check your safeties. Everything's working. There you go.